Why are so many great men short? Are they really? <laughs> David, David, you've hit the nail on the head. Rem acu as they would say in Latin. I'm sure they would. Yeah. <laughs> it, means, it means nice ones, son. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, that's absolutely right. In fact, Napoleon, people Napoleon think... Napoleon was short, wasn't he? No, no. He was above average height. Everyone he was, was short in those wasn't days. He, well, he was yeah. Five, he, yeah, he was five foot six, which is taller than he, he was is five now. seven, actually. Five, yeah. Right, yeah. Average height was about five six ish. So it's just the British who decided he was short. Put him down a bit. Yes. It was a, a particularly a cartoonist called Gilray when we were at war with Napoleon. There was a famous one of George III with a little Napoleon based on Gulliver's travels, like that. Ah. And he's actually saying, I cannot but conclude you to be one of the most pernicious little odious reptiles that nature ever suffered to crawl upon the surface of the earth. There. Oh, yes. That's a, it's a snappy. It's isn't a it? snappy one, isn't it? <laughs> he was three inches taller than Nelson, for example. Nelson was three inches shorter than Napoleon. It's certainly true that. Nelson star... was five foot four? Yeah. Like Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> he was very, yeah, short chap. No wonder they put short. him on such a big so collar. Is that, is that kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's tall into Vulgar Square. Is that short man syndrome a kind of retrospective thing then that we've kind of invented more recently and then just gone back and said they're all short? Yeah. Some of them were short, though, there's no question. I mean, Stalin was surprisingly short. He was only 5'5. Five five. Mussolini was 5'6. Franco was 5'4. Five 5'4? Four. Five four. Yeah. They are all short, Steve. Well, no. <laughs> hit the 5'8. Idi Amin was 6'4. Yeah, big That's fella. my height. Mm. Fidel Castro, 6'1. Uh, Mao was 5'9, which is rather tall for a Chinese person. Mm. So... But mostly they're not judged on their height, are they? No. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> <laughs> but all I'm... We let that go. Yeah. <laughs> all I'm saying, you know, there is, seems to be historically no evidence that short people are more power-hungry, more tyrannical than people of average or tall oh, stature. Because you know it came about, though, because it's, it's just that one... It's probably the one thing that short people have got to cling on to. <laughs> one day, they might be a dictator. 